First Officer's Log, Stardate 50312.5. The Explorer has been ordered to the Ardea system in response to an emerging humanitarian crisis. Ardea 2 has been battling a deadly plague which is now sweeping through its population. While a highly advanced civilization, the Ardeans have adopted a strict policy of isolationism for over a century, something which makes their plea for help even more concerning. They're not wearing biomonitors. We weren't aware they were required. I warned you of the dangers of bringing outsiders to our world once again, Governor. Can we arrange biomonitors for our guests, please? Of course, Governor. And make sure you charge them to their ship. I can assure you our ship is a sterile environment and our entire away team was put through a thorough medical exam before we left. I'm sure that is the case on your ship, Commander. But it is a government regulation that everyone wears a biomonitor on Ardia. We'll make sure to pass that information on to Starfleet next time. If there is a next time. Allow me to introduce our government medical advisor and CEO of Immunicorp. And I am the governor of Ardia. It was I who reached out to the Federation on this matter. Your people must be struggling to contain this virus if you made the decision to break a century's worth of isolation, Governor. Between us, the situation is dire. The virus has spread across the planet and despite our best efforts, we have failed to slow down the rate of infection. In three days, it will spread to every continent and wipe out millions. I am prepared to do whatever it takes to save my people. My understanding from your report, Governor, was that this virus resembles a similar one your planet faced before. And began our exile from the rest of the galaxy, yes. A century ago, my people ventured to the stars, just like yours, only they returned with an alien virus that ravaged our entire population. But you managed to cure it? Maintain it. There is no cure. It was Immunicorp that discovered that concentrated gamma radiation could keep the virus at bay. The Explorer detected low-level radiation being emitted from the ring. It caused interference with our communications and transporter. It's why we had to travel over by shuttlecraft. There are some minor inconveniences, but that's the price the population pays for their health. Immunicorp provides anti-radiation medication and protective wear to those working in highly concentrated areas. No offence, but clearly a hundred years of gamma radiation bombardment has left your society with some severe consequences. Well, vanity aside, the radiation has caused extinction to all native species on the planet's surface and laid waste to any crops we once grew. Everything we eat is produced on the ring. All provided by Immunicorp, at the taxpayer's expense. Yes, well, if you could provide us with a sample of the viral strain, any lab work you have, and case studies of I'm every... I'm sorry, but that information is the intellectual property of Immunicorp and cannot be taken off our premises. But in the interest of the Governor's decision, we have assigned a research laboratory on board the ring for your use. Well, that's nice. Bring us all this way and then you tell us we're not trusted. Lieutenant. I would like you to work together with the Immunicorp scientists. No one else knows this virus better than they do. I've already arranged for several infected patients from the surface to assist us in our research. Our research? I thought you were the receptionist. I am, at the moment, but I'm also a graduate in molecular genetics. I'll be assisting you in your research today. I'm quite excited. We have been operating on a skeleton crew since the virus broke out on Ardia. Any risk to the health of the Ring's workforce could mean further disaster to our shareholders. And the wider population, I'm sure. I shall be returning to the surface shortly. I'm late for a press conference and our media is relentless. Of course, Governor. I wish you success, Commander. Both of you. 
for all our sakes. If you'd like to follow me. We've booked out the space for you to work in today. Thank you, you may go. I'll be right over here should you require anything further. Yeah. Thank you, Mom. I'm sure your people appreciate the diverted expenditure to help us find a cure. We're not going to get anywhere here if you keep antagonising her. She's done. You were chosen because you're the best on our ship. Start acting like it. Right, well, we should begin by taking a tissue sample. Computer, take a tissue sample from the subject in quarantine field one. Huh. Efficient. It's company policy, but the many computer can perform most tests and scans without the need to breach the quarantine field. This is a sample we have on file of the off the virus. Same virus? I mean, the current strain seems to have developed a resistance to the radiation it's been bombarded with for the last century. Adapting to survive. Consequences of not finding a cure. I'll collect the other two samples. So, where are all the other scientists? Working from home? You'd think with an outbreak of this scale, Immuniport would have as many people as possible working on a solution. Oh, they do. They're just in the advanced research labs. CO is very focused on a breakthrough using a radiation treatment. Seems like poor management to focus on one kind of solution, considering how fast this strain is spreading. Worked in the past. Well, with that kind of attitude, I can see why the governor asked us here for a second opinion. It's very stuffy in here. It's the particulate air filters. The high intensity to make sure infection doesn't leave the laboratory. Water? Immunicorp too. They have treatment plants on board the ring that process water from the surface. Very big on branding, aren't they? Immunicorp are very important to Ardian society. They provide literally hundreds of thousands of jobs to the population. Well, you're the most highly qualified receptionist I've ever met. With all the layoffs, I'm lucky to still have a job here. Why are there genetic sequences missing from this file? I'm not sure. I can't seem to access anything big on the screen. I'm afraid that is because the information does not exist. Medical science has advanced significantly on our world as a result of the off-world virus. But the technology of our ancestors was not capable of capturing all the data you're looking for. Without that information, we're virtually starting at square one. An unfortunate oversight. Very. Unless... I need a tissue sample from a non-infected audience. Oh! And because you're significantly older than our patients, the genetic code of the original virus should still be in your bloodstream. We had that information on file. Well, given the existing gaps, I just couldn't be too sure. And I'm sure you can appreciate the importance of up-to-date information in a crisis situation. Of course, if you'll excuse me. Was that really necessary? No, but it made me feel better. Is this normal? This in your typical ID and bloodstream? Uh, I, 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 I don't think so. Ow. Sorry, but it was quicker. And look, this isn't present in your bloodstream like it is in the CEO's. How interesting. It looks like the CEO has the antibodies capable of fighting off the original virus. Well, maybe she developed some kind of natural immunity over time. Look at the digital signature though, it seems to be some kind of vaccine. And it appears to have been re-administered within the last few weeks. That's not possible. If Immunicorp discovered a vaccine, surely they would have distributed to the whole population. We're certainly less profitable to sell a vaccine while than a whole way of life to the audience. But Immunicorp wouldn't do that. The people of Ardia would never allow it. I've lost friends to this virus, everyone has. This talk is only going to cost me my job. I thought you were here to save lives, not your career progression. I am. Your people are reliant on Immunicor. Think about it. Who provides you with the anti-radiation drugs? Immunicor. But that's only because it's the ring that emits radiation to the surface. 
They have to take some kind of accountability. Accountability! The radiation has damaged every living thing on your planet. They should be writing you an insurance check. Uh, that's not the... Who provides your drinking water? Immunicorp. What about your food? Immunicorp. And who employs you? Immunicorp. And where do you live? On the ring. Which is run by... Do you not see where I'm going with this? Look, I know this is a lot to take in right now, but your people have to wake up and realise that Immunicorp is the problem here. Next thing you're going to tell me, it's Immunicorp that manufactured the virus as well. Okay, well, I'm not that much of a conspiracy theorist. Look, I'm sure that back in the day, Immunicorp was just trying to do the best they could with the resources they had available. But then they chose to put profit over the health of their people. <laughs> Life support unit has failed. I don't understand. It's going into cardiac arrest. Deactivate the force field. I can't. It's against quarantine procedures. We can't save this patient from behind a force field. I'm sorry, but it's against immunocore policy. We could expose the whole ring to the virus. I could lose my job. You won't even be alive to have a job if we don't stop this virus now. I... Start here. Save this person. Wait. I'm far more expendable than you at the moment. Sir. That's an order. Do it. Hyperspray, five cc's quadrazine. Done. No effect. Cortical stimulator. Set it to 20 millijoules. Ready. Clear. Increase to 25, again. Stabilizing. Use the pulmonary scanner. I want to run a respiratory series. <gasps> I'm sorry, Commander. Well, I can certainly confirm the fast-acting nature of this virus. Fever's in full force. I feel the muscle pain starting. There's a hyperspray of metaropan in the med kit. How are you coming along? Using the CEO's antibodies, we've been able to develop an antigen that provokes an immune response in the RD and DNA to fight off the virus. Good work. The sooner you can get this synthesized, the better. I speak from experience. Ma'am? What's going on? I've been monitoring your progress and it seems you've had a breakthrough. Yes, we think we've come up with an antigen for the virus. Thank you for your hard work. We'll pass on your findings to the advanced research team for further study. We should be thanking yourself. It came from your bloodstream. Or should we be thanking Immunicorp? As I said, well done. You can return to your ship. We'll take it from here. Uh, one of the humans has become infected. We'll arrange to have him brought to your shuttle. We can't move him while he's infectious. We need to synthesize a treatment before he can leave. No one will be administrating anything until further testing can be completed. Hang on. You said you were monitoring our progress. Does that mean you saw the power failure earlier? You saw us risk our lives for that man. Did you orchestrate that? <laughs> you see the lengths Immunicorp will go to to protect its secret? Return to your administration duties. You heard me. Or maybe a redundancy is in order. You have risked the lives of every Ardian. Nonsense. The mutations present have rendered radiation treatment useless. This is our only available solution. Or should we be passing this information to the Governor? I will not have the Governor inspired by false hope. Oh, but you're happy to continue to sell useless anti-radiation drugs to your citizens? I gave you the option to leave. You missed your chance. Metacomputer, initiate emergency lockdown procedures. Code yellow. Can we open communication to the Explorer? No. All lockdown transmissions have to be approved by the CEO. 
The governor's on our internal system, but I can only access that at my desk and reception. There has to be a way out of here somehow. The particular air filters. I had to arrange them to be installed by external engineers. If we cut through the filter, we can get out using the ventilation system. Stand back. It's perfectly simple, Captain. Starfleet's presence is no longer necessary. Now please respect our isolationism, and Immunicorp will handle the rest of the crisis. Look, we appreciate all your crew has done, and Immunicorp is willing to share its viral engineering technology for your inconvenience. I'll even waive the licensing fee. We're not going anywhere until I speak to the governor and see my people on the ring. I'm sorry you don't recognize a good deal when you see one, Captain. You are holding members of my crew against their will, and I want them released immediately. You're in no position to threaten me, Captain. I don't make threats, but I do keep promises. And I promise to cause you more trouble than you bargained for. End transmission. Launch the ships! Patch the governor through. Governor, we have a vaccine for the virus. That's excellent news. Well done. But it was made using the antibodies from the bloodstream of the CEO herself. Immunicorp have had a cure for the virus this whole time. Of what? I, I don't believe it. I... We don't have time to go into it now, but you have to trust us. The CEO has taken our research and thrown the entire ring into lockdown. Immunicorp have shut down all space elevators to all government buildings too. Without spacecraft, we have no way of reaching you from the surface. You have to apprehend the CEO. Immunicorp must be made to answer for all the suffering they have caused. We'll do our best. CEO! Yes? We've lost one of our ships. The Federation is putting up one hell of a fight. They're not leaving the system. I don't care. Destroy them if you have to. Do whatever it takes. CEO, out. But CEO... His office is through that door. We need to push forward. Come on! Don't come any closer. It's over. Call off your attack on the explorer. I said no closer. You've got nowhere left to run. Immunicorp's secret has been exposed. Don't be so sure. Immunicorp has a final contingency. A viral agent that can be flooded through the ring by the flick of this switch. Affecting you and everyone else on board. How stupid is that? As you've discovered, I'm already immune to its effects. Immunicorp weaponized the off-world of virus. Sanctioned by the board to protect itself and its shareholders. You may be able to silence the ring, but not the rest of your population. We have enough incriminating evidence to prove to the people that you and Immunicorp are guilty of a massive deception. To suppress discovery of a permanent cure in the name of profit. And it's all being transmitted to the governor as we speak. No, but it was the board that made this decision nearly a hundred years ago. I I'm only following their instructions. Well, then I'm sure you'll make the perfect scapegoat for the board. The person to blame for the biggest conspiracy your planet has ever seen. Especially if the murder of the most experienced medical personnel happens by your hand. No. Or, you can be on the right side of history. The CEO that exposed the truth. Immunicorp's reputation will be destroyed. The population relies on Immunicorp, and they will rely on Immunicorp again. For a cure, a permanent one. And then you can look to sharing your technology to cultivate crops, purify water, fabricate clothing at a discounted rate to rebuild your society together. Immunicorp could do that. Oh, it will. And it will do it under new management. Me? Him? Why not? You're good at everything else. So what do you say? One last good deed before an early retirement? or should we let the governor speak to the media first? I think we could work out a new contract. First officer's log. Supplemental. 
the board of Immunicorp have been incarcerated and the radiation barrage has been shut down in favour of a new approach to healthcare. Immunicorp's influence coloured every aspect of life for the Ardeans, from food to fashion, and sweeping repercussions will be felt by all as their society rebuilds. But for now, care for the population is in order. That's official. A million vaccinations in 24 hours. Time for a break. Time for a holiday. <laughs> How are you feeling, Commander? Much better, thanks to Immunicorp. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that the government will be opening six new vaccination centres in the next few hours. We're just waiting on news from Immunicorp's new general manager about the latest batch of antigen and we'll be ready to ship it to the surface. Thank you, both of you. You've given my people a future. A future I hope the Federation could be a part of, Governor. Indeed.